I'm Cassie Sucker, the librarian at Leobet College, and I wanted to share with you something wonderful from the library. This grubby little book doesn't look very promising, but time has given it an inviting softness. And when we open it up, it is not the sight of words that thrills, but the sound of music as we encounter 250 short songs with their lyrics and melody transcribed. These are songs of the land of Israel, Shire Eretz Yisrael. The dances, melodies, work songs, nursery rhymes, music liturgical and music secular, brought to Germany in 1934 by the Halutzim, visiting from Palestine, the pioneers supporting Zionist youth, friendship and political organizations in Europe and encouraging Aliyah. From uh, section two, uh, songs of work and building, Shirei Avoda Ubanim, a song which celebrates singing at every possible moment of the day. Boker Ba. Boker Ba la Voda, Boker Ba la Voda, Boker Ba le Avoda Vashiani Shir Bimbamba. Saraim ba la chila, saraim ba la chila, saraim ba la chila, bashir anishir bin kumbo. Erba le sicha, erba le sicha, erba le sicha, bashir anishir bin kumbo. The songs were recorded and collected by musician and composer Jacob Schomburg published in Berlin in 1935. He had lost his job as a music consultant for Bavarian Broadcasting under the Nazis, and his own compositions would be deeply influenced by the themes he recorded. This little book from the Leobet College Library Music Collection is small enough to fit in your pocket, to take to a campfire sing-along or even a Zoom sing-along, today just as 86 years ago. It shows how music, poetry and song have been woven into every aspect of Jewish life from faith to politics. The melodies and lyrics preserved in its pages enable us as readers and indeed as singers to join that long tradition of psalmists and singers that go back to Miriam and her timbrel, singing songs old and new in lands strange and familiar in times of peace, of persecution and of pandemic, but always singing. Thank you.